the hunger for knowledge and he invested in his personal growth and professional development. That his early education ended at the elementary level. However, during his ministry, he pursued further education and formal training to enhance his ministry at the Bethel Bible College, the premier training institution for ministers of the New Testament Church of God in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. That his sermons were always intellectually formulated. His training, as well as his spiritual and scriptural insights, were demonstrated in the depths of the message which he conveyed to his congregants. That he spent much time in the presence of God in preparation to deliver that which he was impregnated with. Daddy is an accomplished man, and we are proud to call him father. Amidst his struggled, struggles, he managed to maintain a successful family. He successfully and effectively pastored four churches. He attained the following credentials. His exhorter certifi certificate from the New Testament Church of God in May 1996. His licensed minister certificate in April 2004. His certificate of ordination in, two, in September 2009. His diploma of theology in May 2009. His certificate of commission from ch for chaplaincy in June 2008. A certificate of theology in May 2009. Daddy also participated in a Citizen Police Academy lecture series which was conducted through the Jamaica Constabulary Force. In addition, he successfully completed the Justice Training Institute's Justice of the Peace qualifying training program and served his parish as Justice of the Peace. Daddy's mission on this earth was not to amass wealth or earthly positions, but instead his existence of 71 years and 204 days saw him being a thorn in the side of the devil and his kingdom as he plundered hell to populate heaven. He accomplished his mission by God's strength, all whilst guarding his soul against the attack of the adversary which constantly sought to overthrow him. God always had daddy one step ahead of the enemy's plans. Daddy stood firm in his faith to the end and declared like Job that though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Today, we do not celebrate the value of our daddy's house, nor the quality of his car, nor the volume of land which he has left behind, nor how much money he left for our mom, but we celebrate the legacy which he has left for us, his children, we immortalize the memories which we created and we value the fact that we, that we are who we are because our father was George Smith. Our father's lifelong legacy is a marvel. How did this little boy get to this? How did he manage to silently create such a storm and influence not only his community, but Jamaica and the world? How did he defy the negative prophecies which were made against his life and the doom which were predicted over his children? It is simple. It is God's doing. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27. We have been on a journey of discovery and analysis since daddy died. And this journey will continue on. There are varying perspectives. But the position of the majority is that we have found our father to be faithful. And we are confident that he is resting in the arms of Jesus and that we will live to meet him in the resurrection. In the meantime, and while we remain, we will never forget his voice as he prayed for us or as he disciplined us in his unique way through parables and sayings such as, speak that, 
speak the things that become sound doctrine. Chicken Mary hawk the near. When you think it's peace and safety, it's sudden destruction. God never destroy a city without a warning. Broke up your folly ground. Do not delight yourself in unfinished work. If you, if you are going to do something and your heart not in it, no bother with it. Speak the truth and speak it ever. Cause it what it will. He who hides the wrong he did does the wrong thing still. Liar and thief walk together. Never feed a lazy man. Shun the very appearance of evil. Time would fail me to tell the stories behind all these sayings. But our children have heard them. And we will, con and will continue to hear them as life goes on. Because our father deposited value, valuable lesson in us through these sayings. That is life made sense. He lived a full life by all measures, and he was tired, and he has entered into his rest. The Reverend George Smith, JP, Brother Noah, husband, father, grandfather, is survived by his wife, Isilda Smith, nine children, 19 grandchildren, one great grandchild, three sisters, one brother, a host of nieces, nephews, other relatives, and friends. Let us remember that love is stronger than death, even though it can't stop death from ha happening. But no matter how hard death tries, it cannot separate people from love. It can't take away our memories either. In the end, life is stronger than death. Psalm 37 verse 37 says, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Rest in peace, daddy. My brother Junior will use his talent and the anointing of God to encapsulate all of that which I have said in a song which he, re he wrote in honor of our Father. Thank you. Please put your hands together, Miss Solomon. <clears throat> On May 6th, while I lay in Raina's bed, tears coming down my face, I thought about daddy and I asked myself the question, what's one thing I would say to him if I could? With all that he was given, all that he came to the world with, he has done well. And the one word, two words that came were well done. And that's the name of this song in tribute to my dad. My producer, Corey Clark on keys, he worked overtime to get this to me after the 6th of May. My voice is gone, but even if I have to scream it out, I'm going to sing it. good fight you have finished your race rest on many mountains you've climbed valleys low you have faced rest on your groans have now ended and your spirit is free for you, the mystery is solved concerning those who fall in the sea. Well done. Well 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was an amazing piece. It was an amazing piece. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if it was done somewhere else, that would have been a standing ovation. I'm telling you. I mean, wonderful words, a wonderful tune, well arranged, well done. Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. I can't believe I'm in the presence of someone singing a song like that at the death and the thanksgiving service of his father. This, I will never forget this song. Well done. Praise God. Well, sisters and brothers, we are about to dismantle ourselves. <laughs> I could not allow that one to pass. <laughs> Trust me, we have to use it, and I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to tell my children that when I go home. But uh, before we do the dismantling, we're going to invite Ransford Smith. He is a son, another son, to come and give the vote of thanks. Immediately after Ransford, we're going to have, so that we can leave uh, in, in good time, the prayer for the family done by Reverend Diego Dunchi. So they will come in that order. Thank you, Rev. Let me greet all God's wonderful people in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish to express on behalf of our family our most sincere appreciation to everyone who has visited, called, prayed, or by other means made and offered words of comfort to us during this time of bereavement. You are valued, and the impact you have had is by no means lost on us. I wish, however, to make a few special mentions. To the administrative bishop of the New Testament Church of God and his executive team, and in particular, the director of ministerial care and development, Bishop Alexander Sims, our profound thanks for the godly care given to our father throughout his sickness and to our family since his passing. We are aware that the intricacies associated with the arrangements to lay our father to rest during a pandemic was not easy, but he was very flexible he was understanding. Your support, both spiritual and otherwise, is highly appreciated. To the congregants of the various churches our father was blessed to have pastored, we are confident that it is the care and fervent prayer that you have offered to our on behalf of our father that kept him alive for all these years even when the greatest medical minds wrote him off. Thank you, and God bless you. To the two caregivers who offered such care to our Father that cannot be rivaled, we thank you. Miss <clears throat> Joy and Denise, I used her yard name because she's family. Words cannot. Words cannot express the appreciation we have for both of you. When the condition of our father was of such, yes, um, where is Danny's? Please stand, Danny's, and be recognized. <laughs> Guys, show her much appreciation. And I saw Miss Joy somewhere earlier. And once again, I say words cannot express the appreciation we have for both of you. When the condition of our father was of such, 
that our hearts broke when we see him. It was you who stepped in and cared for him. Despite our efforts, we cannot truly compensate you for the job that you did. It was well done. I encourage you both to hold steadfast to God because your real reward is awaiting you in heaven. To everyone who chipped in to prepare the burial spot, whether paid or unpaid, your contribution is highly appreciated. To our many friends and extended family, who have always been there for us, some of whom are here today, traveling from overseas just to be here. We appreciate you for all you do. May the peace of God rest on you all. And may God's bountiful blessing be a portion to you all according to your faith. God bless you and thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Can we ask the family to keep standing at this time? All the family members as we commend you to God at this time. Today was a blessed day. Was a blessed, blessed day. Praise God. Father, we give you thanks this afternoon. For your goodness, your mercies, and your love. Father, this afternoon, Lord, we commend the Smith's family to you. Father, we pray your grace upon them. We pray, Jehovah God, that your peace will surround them. We pray, God, as they go back to their different abode this afternoon, that your mercy will sustain them. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will undergird them, that as they seek Almighty God to press forward, without their father in their lives. We pray, Almighty God, that they will cherish his memory and embrace his legacy. We pray, Jehovah God, that we continue to bless them and keep them. Lord, we pray like Job, who says, God, the Lord giveth and the Lord take it away. Blessed be your holy name. May they bless you, Almighty God. And as they journey ahead, Almighty Father, we pray that their eyes will be on you. May you keep them and sustain them for the days ahead. When their hearts are heavy, Almighty God, help them to remember not to lose heart because there is a hope that they have anchored in our eternal Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I commend you, I commend them to you even now and in the word of your grace, which is able to build us up and give us an inheritance among them that are sanctified as we give you worship, glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Reverend Dunchi. You may all be seated just for a moment because we are basically at the end of the uh, Thanksgiving service. Praise God. And so, friends, we are just about ready to have the recessional. But before that, we're going to invite uh, none other than our Reverend Smith who has been doing a very, very good job since morning to come and give us the announcements as we prepare to uh, recess. Over to you, Reverend Smith. Thank you, Doctor. Yes. The hearse with, with the casket is on its way. And we will be proceeding behind it to the house. So we will be, is it coming here? Yes. So we will just wait here for a few. We'll, we'll do the recessional hymn, but then we'll wait until the hearse comes and we'll go. We will facilitate a very brief viewing at the house. And we are kindly asking for your kindest cooperation so that we can do that without any incidences if that happens yes so if if we can't maintain order we will just reserve the viewing for the family and then proceed to the burial but we thank you for your best behavior even now 
that when we get there, we will be able to get through that without um, incident. So thank you so very much, Doc. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. And now, sisters and brothers, it's time for the recessional hymn. And so that congregational hymn that we had, uh, we are going to be doing that as a recession. There was, no, no, uh, it is, let me tell you what it is. To Canaan's land, I'm on my way. What a wonderful Church of God song we're going to end with. And I really would like Reverend Junior Smith to, do, uh, to lead us in the singing of that beautiful hymn. As we get ourselves ready to go, I just would like to say, though, that I, I really feel that the, the, the family ought to be commended for a well put together Thanksgiving service. Put your hands together for them. Can you imagine in a pandemic, we're having a service like this? I'm telling you, see all of these musicians up here, they're like international stars, okay? <laughs> they are really very top class musicians and we want to give God thanks for them. You listen to the sound, you look at the lighting, you hear what's going on through the speakers. These guys who are doing uh, the the streaming i know them personally they are good guys they know what they're doing a bishop preached a good sermon great singing happened you can't get a better thanksgiving service than this one this is top class thanksgiving service i am just absolutely pleased by the family family salute to you hats off to you you did a very good job let us now have the recessional hymn we're going to do it in fine style so that church of god will come alive with this great hymn god bless you to kenyan's land i'm on my way where the soul never dies my darkest night will turn to day where the soul of man never dies no sad farewell no tears dim eyes where all is joy and the soul
Fear will.